directed by Dennis J. Courtney, M.D., director of the Courtney Medical Group, located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray, Pennsylvania. For more information or to make an appointment, call 724-942-3002. That's 724-942-3002. For Dennis J. Courtney, M.D. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to AM Impact on Your Health. AM Impact on Your Health, where every day our goal is to have you learn at least one thing to help you live better and longer. AM Impact on Your Health, heard each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney, and I'm with you each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9. And impact on your health for each day you'll find current medical news, knowledgeable guests, and fascinating health topics where we encourage you to call in to join in today. Today we're going to be with a gentleman who has been at least three years, I think, since we've had him back here. Extremely knowledgeable in an interesting area of alternative therapies. Oxygen therapies will sum it all up. In fact, it'll really sum it up because he's known as Mr. Oxygen talking about Ed McCabe, who's going to be our featured guest today. We're going to get with him right after our first break, of course, but we'll be discussing these new oxygen therapies, the way of approaching disease. Uh, one of his books that he has written, actually, this was written way back in 1988, but the oxygen therapies just keep on rolling. He has new books to add to it and a whole resume and bio that's very stunning and very revealing about this gentleman's contribution in the area of oxygen therapy and oxygen therapeutic approaches. So Ed McCabe, Mr. Oxygen, our guest today. It's in the course of our discussions with uh, Mr. Oxygen. If you want to call in to ask a question or make a comment, of course that number as always will be 412-825-6262. That's 412-825-6262, Ed McCabe, our guest today. Now, looking at this calendar, folks, and it is blasting away. I know uh, in December, extra special impetus is provided for the, the monthly calendar. We're focused on a date that's happening this weekend with the Christmas just around the corner. Uh, we've really packed December with a whole host of guests for you. I hope you've appreciated We certainly have enjoyed bringing them to you. Uh, as the year plays itself out now, we'll open them up on Wednesday. I enjoyed doing it on Friday, by the way. Uh, and having an open phone day with you. We're going to do it again on Wednesday. On Friday, we'll, uh, you know, that's Christmas Eve day, and so appropriate will be, uh, it will be because it's the day I'll repeat. Now for, I don't know, it's only 2002 to the uh, eighth time, um, the show entitled An Altercation with an Elf. Many of you already know this show. You keep on hearing it every year. I keep playing it every year. You can let me know when you've had enough. No muss. Uh, what we have intended to schedule it for our Christmas Eve show this week, an altercation with an alpha. Um, well, a little run-in I had way back in 2002 has become the landmark Christmas story. We'll reveal it to you once again on the 24th. Uh, next week, as it rolls around, of course, we're moving to, as I always do, the end of the year shows, you know, where we go through month by month, and just pluck out the names of the guests we had during that month and during the time of this whole 2010. It's very uh, uh, usual, I think, for uh, especially new shows and the like to do end of the year and review. And so we've done it here as a staple item for a number of years now. We'll do it again. We'll do the first six months of 2010 on the 29th, just walking through my little book here finding out what guests uh, we had at the time and the impact that they made on me, things that I can remember from it. And, you know, many times, especially if you're a steady listener here, uh, it conjures up the imagery that you once had at the time the show was originally done. So we'll end the year, of course, with those year in review shows. That'll be on Wednesday the 29th and New Year's Eve the 31st. Uh, in January, and just to get you prepared, I've mentioned it a number of times, uh, that particular schedule for 2011, first month, is building up. Uh, when we return back from New Year's Day festivities on the 3rd, we're going to be greeted with uh, someone you've come to know very well here in Pittsburgh, 
Cass Ingram is going to be back with us. Um, he's out in the woods, yes, and I know he gets excited about talking about the woods, and many of the therapies uh, who have, that have recently emerged uh, were due to all of the, um, uh, I don't know what you're going to call them, the expeditions that he and his group have made into the woods. We're going to ask him. I've already talked to the publicist. I promise I'll try to keep him on point. Uh, the book he wrote a number of years ago, Natural Cures for High Blood Pressure. It's something that, well, patients of mine literally have said, look, I want, I want him to go back. I want him to talk about those therapies. And he's always been uh, uh, made enthusiastic by his most recent trip into the woods. That one gets lost and he gets buried. We never really t cover the topic. Promise, I promise to keep him on topic when we return with Cass Ingram uh, on the 3rd. Uh, in that same week, we're going to bring Dr. Susan Smith-Jones back with us, talking about stress busters. She claims there are seven of them, so it will be an, an instructive morning with Dr. Susan Smith-Jones. Um, then in the second week, right now, we've got Stuart Reeves coming back. Now, that interesting fellow was there at Diamond V uh, a number of years ago, sort of the, um, right at the end of the, the 90s, the 1990s, uh, where Diamond V made a transition from developing um, animal feeds to developing a very interesting product that we've promoted for a number of years. When I say we, uh, of course, I mean myself and um, Arlene Brecker, uh, no longer with us. But boy, you can do you do remember the Epicor shows we did. Uh, turns out the what we thought was folklore and potentially could have errors in it was exactly spot on with how Epicor was discovered. Anyway, Stuart Rees has quite a bit more to say about the immune system and this modulating and balancing of the immune system. And uh, we're going to bring him back on the 12th of January. Then as we move, let's see, Roland Thomas, a new guest. I haven't met him yet. Uh, the, um, the topic that they bioengineered algae, <laughs> soon to be our most powerful food and medicine. We'll find out that, about that one from Roland. Uh, then Darren Starkey, a naturopathic physician well known to many of you already uh, in this area because of his relationship with the company Trace Mineral Research. We're going to be talking about minerals that are uh, produced in, uh, and, 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 and uh, distributed by Trace Mineral Research. Uh, and that's going to be on the 19th. And even, uh, let's see, February 9th. Oh, just all the way into February. Here we got Susan Smith-Jones coming back on the February 9th show. It's just before Valentine's Day. Uh, natural ways to increase libido. That's going to be our Valentine's Day show. Yeah, that was her, that was her um, suggestion, so I followed her with it. There you have it in terms of our schedule. Uh, some appropriate messages to give you. Now, this is probably the last day. I don't know that for sure, but I'm just guessing the last day, if you have a mind, to be uh, sending out through the Spirit in those gift boxes, uh, this is probably the last day to do it. Uh, remember, that, that product can be delivered as a Christmas gift in special packaging to anyone you choose to. For the $29 alone that the product actually costs, but it'll be uh, boxed up very nicely with the bottle of the fruit of the Spirit, as well as, well as a, um, a measuring glass, they call it, uh, a, the book Harmony, written by Deborah Ray, uh, as well as the Dr. Reyes and Dr. Young, as well as another book about the actual product itself. It's certainly got its own unique story with respect to these 14 biblical fruit parades, um, alkalinizing minerals from the Dead Sea, and resveratrol, all contained in this product, which... Uh, We've not featured. It's the only place to get it, folks. It's not sold in many other stores, and to the best of my knowledge, it's not carried by anybody else other than us. It's wonderfully pacing. It's a good way to get people that you know and love started off in the new year with a new approach to health. Uh, you can do it one of two ways. You can call up. You'll hear the spot when we cut to the commercial. Uh, Deborah Ray is doing many of these for us. We have it. We have it in the can, so to speak. But you can do it by phone. 1-800-793-8714. We'll get that done for you with uh, the Fruit of the Spirit Company. Once again, 800-793-8714. Or you have a way to do it online, 
We have our own website uh, that you can uh, contact to be able to process this online and get it out also to the, uh, the person you'd like to have it mailed to. And that's uh, Dr. Courtney, Dr. Courtney dot fruit spirit dot com. That's our own little website there. That's Dr. Courtney dot fruit spirit dot com. And you can get that accomplished there. Also, uh, also want to give you the, because uh, it's uh, you know, that time of the year, you may want to be ordering some of uh, those uh, symptomatic relief products from Olbus. I particularly recommend the teas and the pastilles. Yes, the powerful pastilles, instead of the black currant ones, um, they're supposedly effective, but to me, not as effective as the regular pastilles. Anyway, there's a phone number to call. That number is 800-523-9971. That's Pennsylvania Herb Company, 800-523-9971. Whenever you get the, that your call answered and whoever picks it up, please tell them that you're using the code DC for Dr. Courtney and whatever goodies and specials they have in store for you to be able to offer free, they'll give them to you because you're sort of in the club, you know. So use the code DC for Dr. Courtney and you'll be able to get whatever freebies they have to be offering. They say they change them all the time so they never could give me a real list of what they might be. All right, I think that just about wraps it up. Let's do this. Uh, let's take a short break. In the interim, I'll go find uh, Ed McCabe. He lives in Florida, so he's in our time zone. Uh, his name, other name that goes by, is an anonymous for um, Mr. Oxygen. We'll be talking about oxygen therapies today with an expert on the subject. Ed McCabe will be back in a moment. you become confused about how best to manage your health? It's no wonder. It seems that every time you turn on the television or radio, another expert has yet another suggestion for you to follow that seems to be reasonable enough, but no matter how dutifully you follow the instruction, it just doesn't quite produce the results that you are looking for. If this confusion sounds familiar to you, give us a call at the Center for Complementary Health, where we'll make some sense of the confusion based on a blending of traditional and alternative medicine that we've been perfecting over the last seven years. We offer metabolic yeah, nutrition testing, you, yeah. immune system repair, hey, natural hormone replacement therapy, chelation yeah. therapy, cutting edge yeah. allergy correction, yeah. and a host of other safe and effective alternative therapies. Dennis J. Courtney, MD, is located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray, phone 724-942-3002. This Christmas season, give your friends and loved ones the gift of health with a very special gift from Fruit of the Spirit. Fruit of the Spirit combines 14 whole fruits with energizing minerals to give you great tasting, antioxidant-rich liquid nutrition with more health benefits than any other product of its kind. Take advantage of a special offer this Christmas. We will send a beautiful gift pack with a bottle of Fruit of the Spirit, portion glass, book, and brochure to each name on your shopping list for just $29. That's a bottle of Fruit of the Spirit, portion glass, book, and brochure to each name on your shopping list for just $29. Fruit of the Spirit gift pack is a $57 value. This Christmas season is yours for just $29, shipping and handling not included. Call 1-800-793-8714 with your shopping list and Fruit of the Spirit will take care of the rest. Call now, that's 1-800-793-8714. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to AM Impact on Your Health. AM Impact on Your Health, of course, heard each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney with you today on a Monday version of the show. And with us, uh, uh, gentlemen, well, we've had him on our airways before. It's been a long time. I can't, I'm saying it's about, about three years have passed. Uh, this gentleman has not let grass grow under his feet, ladies and gentlemen. He is well entrenched in a topic he knows so well. In fact, he knows it so well, he goes by the title. Yes, his given name is Ed McKay, but he's also known as Mr. Oxygen. Um, looking at his bio, folks, it's, it's very extensive. Uh, let's see, um, he's been involved with uh, 
with congressional legislation with Harkin and Bedell, Perky Bedell. We've had him on our show many times. Uh, been on TVs and radios. Mari Povich show, I see he does a spot here. Uh, did a spot with uh, Mari. Uh, a degree in uh, educational media from University of Massachusetts. He's an investigative journalist. He's an international author. His best tome, the one that he's most known for, is uh, written in 1988, Oxygen Therapies, A New Way of Approaching Disease. This gentleman, uh, well, he's got quite a story to tell, folks. Let's let him get right to it. I introduce to you Mr. Ed McCabe, Mr. Oxygen. Welcome aboard, Ed. Nice to have you back. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Ed, like I said on our when I was talking off air, I read many bios. Yours is the most lengthy I've ever seen. It's a testimony to where you've taken a lot of your uh, time and effort. You've come, become very interested in auction therapies. I don't know how that came to pass. Why don't you uh, give us a bit of your background, and then in so doing, we may learn how it is that you became uh, so um, invested in this issue of auction and auction therapies. Well, it was, uh, in the beginning, it was because in the 1980s, during the late 80s, they told us that AIDS was a new disease that everyone was going to get because it was transmitted by sex. So everyone was going to get it, and there is no cure, and you're all going to die. Wait a <laughs> I remember that, by the way. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was the way it was presented back then. And so I started to think about it. Then I remember a, um, an article I had read about Dr. William F. Coates, based at Chicago University, Wayne State University. And he said that he had developed a way to separate the virus from the host cell. In other words, AIDS transmitted by virus getting into your body in a second. So he said he had himself to take the virus out of the cell. And as I researched more and more into his stuff, because I just happened to read that alternative journal, I found out there was a whole world of what we now call oxygen therapy. Now, this is where bacteria, virus, and fungus, and pathogens simply cannot exist when you surround them with oxygen. And this is just amazing information. And it's not taught in American medical school. There are doctors using it all over the world, but it's not taught in American medical school. So I looked at that, and I was researching it, researching it. And one day I was realized that, you know, somebody ought to write a book about this. Well. <laughs> and then the, uh, the hand of the universe turned around and pointed at me and said, you. <laughs> so I realized that, that I knew more about it than anybody else because no one had heard about it. Because these things existed. They were out there. They have a rich history of oxygen therapy going back, oh, 100 years or more, all over the world, et cetera, et cetera. It really came to prominence in Germany before the Second World War destroyed all the medical systems. It was a huge industry there. And so people were using them because they got results. And I said, well, we should be discovered this and tell people about it. And I did more and more research. And then I found out all the histories and the ways they were being used, et cetera. And it all culminated in today. We have uh, websites. We have a new book, which is Flood Your Body with Oxygen. And I have a DVD set called Flood Your Body with Oxygen. It's a set DVD. And we have a website, MrOxygen.com. And a friend of mine makes all the products, and I have formulas that he sells, and that's at OxygenAmerica.com. So you can go to any of those places and find out more, because we've only got about 45 minutes here today. But the beauty of these things is they work all of them. a 100 years worth of uh, experience behind them. It's not just breathing on. We're talking about using a uh, very active work about the people. Well, let's talk a bit about uh, what you call and group. I never really had it uh, mentioned this way, but it's a, it's a catchy title. You call them active oxygen therapies. Could you list out a few of what they may be? Because as a category, I've never heard them phrased that way. Right. Right. Publicize is different. See, most people listening say, they heard you say, well, this is oxygen. You're talk about oxygen therapy. They all said, oh, you need, you know, when you go to the hospital to breathe oxygen. No, that's not it. So I, I try to make a, a clear distinction there. That what I'm talking about is active forms of oxygen. Now, stable oxygen is what you breathe in the green, green bottle at the hospital, back of the fire truck. That's O2. 
what we're talking about is all those ways of delivery that think less for the boxes or all one. And so all these therapies I talk about is that. There are supplements, there's uh, liquids, lotions, oils, uh, devices. Uh, the most common one I would think would be ozone therapy. Was against pollution. No, we're not talking about pollution. Is an ozone O3? Yes. B oxygen. Now, ozone is created by the sun's light when it strikes the atmosphere. That's when we get our ozone there. It then is heavier than air and it falls to Earth. When it falls to Earth, it gets into all the plants, animals, the livestock, everybody, except bad pollution. Now, pollution has blocked a lot of the oxygen, six that oxygen delivery to humans. And so we find that people have gone to supplementation, they've gone to going to clinics, et cetera. Now, in the, in the case of the ozone therapy, which is one of the best known therapies, because that's used by thousands of MDs all over the world. The Cuba right now, you get it, get it. In uh, Italy, there's in Russia, they have hospitals, teaching hospitals, people do their PhDs on it. It's all the study of taking O2, and just like when the sun hits it, it turns it into O3. So there's these machines, ozone generators, but the doctors will draw the oxygen into the machine. They'll hit it with a high electrical charge, which is just like the sun's photon, and then they'll take it out of the machine. That's the, the ozone. And when they inject that into people, or they put them in a big bag full of it and soak them to the skin, or you charge water with it. Uh, for example, in uh, emergency room in Russia, somebody comes in with a gunshot. The very first thing they do, because it's so cheap and so effective, is they'll turn on the ozone machine and stick the ozone tube into the hole to pull it there. Now, that immediately sterilizes, which is what all one does. It sterilizes all the bacteria, the viruses, the bugs, and the pathogens. That bullet has driven the spray of the and got into the body. And it also cauterizes the wound. So it's amazing you know, it disappear because the Russian standard procedure to stick the ozone in the hole and sterilize everything around it. And then bleeding gets stopped. So it'd be a great thing for our emergency room. So that's one of the reasons I always say active oxygen. Because I'm trying to show people there's a difference. You should learn more about what I'm talking about. Now also can be delivered through uh, intravenous IV transfusion. It can be put into a saline prolate solution, which they do a lot in Russia, which then they drip into the body. There's also newer, even more effective methods where you take blood out of one arm, you ozonate it, that ozone to it outside the body, just like a dialysis, and then you put it back in the other arm. And that way, the bad blood, dirty polluted blood, is taken out, the sick blood is taken out, cleaned up, sterilized, and put back in the other arm. Now, this is something that's not taught in American medical school. And that's what I found out very early on when I found out all this information, how there were, there were people that didn't have to be sick. In fact, Berkeley Vidal, you mentioned Bert. Uh, he and I brought cured AIDS patients to the National Institute of Health in Washington, D.C. and showed them that the doctors had said, here they are. They used ozone therapy. They're not sick anymore. And their doctors were there to testify in this committee that, yes, this is true. We, we, we watched these people do this, we treated them, or we monitored them as they treated themselves, and they're completely healthy now. Well, because of the politics involved and all the competition from other things, uh, we couldn't go anywhere further with that route, other than them, them saying that, uh, well, we should go read the <laughs> So there's politics involved in it, and what I've been doing is I've been trying to tell the people that there are ways of getting this active oxygen supplementation from your body. And it's a very good thing to do. Do they couple, is this the famous ultraviolet blood irradiation? Um, That's the second cousin. It's it, uh, ultraviolet CPI. What they do is they pull out the blood and then they, they run it over uh, on ultraviolet light. Now, we all know that ultraviolet light, but this is these red bowling sheets that they still have to sit on top of light. This affects them. Well, those are, uh, those are germicidal light. Intended to disrupt the bacteria as light waves hit them. It's similar to that, but this is far more powerful. This is where you actually take sigma oxygen, the O3 goes into your body immediately. It's no longer O3, it's 
turns into oxygen. It gives up. But what if the oxygen? That's what it goes. So Odo is used to sterilize water all over the world. It's used to sterilize instruments, hospital rooms, surgical instruments, uh, in the school systems since the 50s in the United States. And you'll find restaurants and uh, city morgues in New York at ozone air purification. You put it in the air and it kills all the bacteria. I took pictures of that when I was in New York. Uh, there's a fish market in New York City. You have ozone in the air to take away the smell of the fish. <laughs> yeah, now that's, uh, that is so true about the use of ozone. Industrial um, ozonators, uh, literally where you w walk out on Friday and you turn on the switch, when you come back on Monday morning, uh, it has completely disinfected and antimicrobialized the entire building very effectively, I might add. And so I guess backing off, toning that down a tad to make it something that the human body could tolerate would be what uh, the industrial application made personal would be all about. Los Angeles has most of this uh, water purification. Bios and water to clean it before they put it in the pipe. And so a lot of people said, well, gee, uh, if it works so good at killing bacteria, virus, and fungus, and stuff, it can kill the water, it's completely eradicated. There's nothing so left in it after you lose water. Well, since the human body is made up of two thirds water, what would happen if you put a safe amount? of this ozone in the body over a period of time. And indeed, uh, we watch people. Here's, here's the real way, way you can tell uh, someone's ultimate state of health. If you look at the color of the blood, if you go to the blood mobile cell, you'll see that everybody's blood is like a dark purple, it's almost black or brown. If you look at the movie stuff, all the movies are starting to color when they shoot somebody or they hack somebody's head off or whatever. They're starting to make the blood all look black, brown, dark purple. But if you look at earlier movies, like in the 60s and 50s, the early color movies, you see that the, the blood was represented as being bright red. Well, that was the color of most of the blood. Now there's so much pollution in the air that that pollution in the air, food, and water it gets into our body and floats us up. So our, our blood is actually overloaded with pollution. And so it turns almost black in color, it's a dark, ugly color. And if you look at that under a microscope, live blood under a microscope, you'll see it's full of all kinds of strange little creatures and plants and stuff running around. It's not supposed to be there. You give someone a course of, for example, ozone therapy, or if they take oxygen supplements or other ways of oxygenating the body, which is all of my book, all of the we all know the ways of doing that, you'll see that they start out, the blood is that dark, dark color. And then after maybe six months or so, or so of taking this, or if you go to a clinic, maybe three, four weeks, six weeks, you come out, the blood is a bright, hard gold mess. Now that's the way your blood is supposed to work. That's the way it used to work when I was here. And now it's all acceptable. It's going to be normal that the blood, the blood is supposed to be this dark, dark purple by the media. It's just not true. What they're doing is they're, they're ignoring the fact that we're all filthy inside. Our bodies are full of water that's polluted. Our blood is polluted. Our lymph systems are polluted. And it's also lack of oxygen in the air. And the tons and tons of hydrocarbon emissions and pollution that puts go up into the air, we breathe in, it gets into the groundwater, it gets into the animals, it gets into the oxygen. Everything's polluted and dark. The only way you can turn that around is with oxygen. That's the way nature intended it. Now, the, uh, it's so clear that the rest of the world has picked up on this therapy and utilized it to a much greater extent than we do here in the United States. But it is, it is possible, is it not, to find doctors who actually do these therapies stateside? There are organizations, international organizations, etc., all over the world that have referral services. And that's always the fact. But if you could go say, who do you know in whatever area of the world you're in? And if you ask around, like you go to health stores, and you ask people that are knowledgeable about the local area, usually you can find some doctor somewhere that knows about these things, that has educated himself. But he wasn't taught this in medical Now, there, there's two main things they should be teaching in medical school. And it's, it's important for us to understand what these are, because this is what active oxygen does in the body. 
The first I've already alluded to, which is sterilization. But let's take it a step before that. Let's go back to the body's plugging up. Our body's plugging up with pollution. Uh, you know, uh, oh, all these chemicals you can't pronounce the names of and all the foods you're eating. All the chemicals in the local towns of the water, all we do is purify it by adding chemicals to it. So who make any sense to me, because there's better ways to do it. But all these things get into your body. You eat, everything you drink, everything you wear, because you're wearing laundry detergent. Uh, the air you breathe, the same air that's coming out of all the cars and trucks on the freeway, and the buses, etc. All that piles up and piles up and piles up in your body. Now, there's only one way to clean it out. It's hard to explain to you. When you put cigarette act boxes into the body, either by going to a clinic or getting a supplement or whatever, and this is all the book. But you, by putting this active of nature's oxygen, natural, natural cleanser and sterilizer into the human body, the body starts to take that oxygen and combine it with all the solution. And it takes the solution and washes it out of the body. You can go to the bathroom and sweat it out or whatever. But it leaves the body called detoxification. Detoxification. Taking out the toxins. Up. All the stuff that's not food, not for the system, it's just not a normal healthy cell. Your body doesn't know what to do with it, so it covers it up with this substance. Well, the oxygen comes along, strips away the system. Actually, the body uses the oxygen to sterilize and kill all the bacterial virus and bugs that you have in there. And that's all what they're living in pollution. They're all, all these microbes are living in pollution. So the oxygen system. Number one is it provides the solution and removes it. So the solution is taken out of the body, washed out of the body. My body says, great, I finally have enough oxygen, which I didn't have before. Now I've got this. I'm going to do my natural thing to push it out. The second big truth, the second big truth about the oxygen system is all the bacteria, the virus, the fungus, and the fungus are anaerobic. This is what's not taught in American medical school. So all those things, the microbes, that cause all the disease you get, they can't give an oxygen. And since your body's conserved water, like I said, and since the city of Los Angeles sterilizes the water by putting those on in there, why can't we take an oxygen supplement, like a, we have a formula called oxygen, with that, that's another word, oxygen, with minerals, that's another word, with the oxygen components, there's ways that people can do this without having to go to the European clinic. And what they do is they supplement the oxygen in the body. The body takes that oxygen and then surrounds the enteral, surrounds the bacteria, the virus, and the fungus, the pathogen, because they can't live it out. And you find that your body knows this. And so your lymphocytes produce hydrogen peroxide, which is simply water plus oxygen. Your body will lymphocytes absorb a bacteria or virus and kill it by squirting peroxide out of the peroxide, which is part of your system. You also have neutrophils, which create these levels of ozone, three levels of ozone in your body. So you find that everything we're talking about, the oxygen therapy, is natural to the human body, and our own produce singlet oxygen, roots of oxide, and ozone, and ozone, to attack all the bacteria virus of the body. So it's it's a natural thing. It's simply that those things out of our medical system. Now, the, um, you just mentioned something interesting a moment ago when you were talking about the uh, the um, uh, immune system being able to literally use the the generation of hydrogen peroxide in an antimicrobial fashion to literally kill these organisms. That's your you're describing. That's right. Now, about the use of something I'm pretty familiar with, the administration of intravenous hydrogen peroxide. Same thing? Yes. So our doctors decided that, well, if you look at the 1910 edition of the Lancet, which was premier English medical magazine, medical journal, they found that the Indian Gurkhas around a campaign somewhere, the Indian Gurkhas soldiers, were all dying of it could be plague, flu, whatever it was at the time. And there was nothing they could do about it. And one of the doctors uh, 
reported at the Lancet, they realized they were using peroxide to sterilize the instrument. What would happen if we put a safe amount of that into one of the gherkins? Who was going to die anyway? It was nothing up to 1910, okay? And he discovered that after injecting a dilute solution of peroxide into him, that uh, he fell asleep for a few hours, woke up, dusted himself off, and went home. <laughs> so they do, they do that, and then they repeated it over and over and over. In their clinic, and, and got got the local population through the problem. They found out the power of this So the doctors said, "Well, gee, uh, what if we use this as a medical therapy?" So that's one of the medical therapies. Is taking a medical grade or uh, solution of dilute solution of hydrogen peroxide and dripping that into the human body. Now that's okay, but it, it's not as good as ozone therapy, which is why you don't hear a lot about peroxide. Because the ozone, although it's better, but it doesn't have the hydrogen in there. The hydrogen is brittling. It makes things harder. And so if you take put the oxygen out, put the oxygen in, get rid of the hydrogen stuff, you're talking about ozone, then all it does is wait and detoxify the body and kill all the bacteria, virus, fungus, and pathogens. That's, that's what the doctors have discovered and written up in medical journals that have done. Outstanding. Uh, why don't we do this? Uh, take a short break. When we come back, I want our listeners to get all sorts of ready and let Ed, when you come back, give us your websites again. Give us any other contact information, any phone numbers that you know of that would be really beneficial for our listeners to be able to have in their own library so that they can take this to the next step. You've got a set of DVDs out there that uh, these patients could be able to order up and, and learn more about these oxygen therapies. And then I'm going to ask you more about some of your active oxygen therapies other than the ozone because uh, you say there's some oral things to take and other things uh, that would be uh, additional ways to get oxygen into the body and use it as an antimicrobial. Fair enough? Okay. Folks, we're going to take a short break. Go get a pencil and a paper so you can write down many of these items when we return. We're going to ask Ed to give you uh, the contact information to get a hold of his book to get a hold of his DVDs, and we're going to learn more about these active oxygen therapies when we return. We'll be right back. Your friends in Buffalo can get some help with a very special gift from Fruit of the Spirit. Fruit of the Spirit combines 14 whole fruits with energizing minerals to give you great tasting, antioxidant-rich liquid nutrition with more health benefits than any other product of its kind. Take advantage of a special offer this Christmas. We will send a beautiful gift pack with a bottle of Fruit of the Spirit, a portion glass, a book, and brochure to each name on your shopping list for just $29. That's a bottle of Fruit of the Spirit, a portion glass, book, and brochure to each name on your shopping list for just $29. Fruit of the Spirit gift pack is a $57 value. This Christmas season is yours for just $29 shipping and handling non included. Call 1 800 793 8714 with your shopping list, and Fruit and Spirit will take care of the rest. Call now, that's 1 800 793 8714. This is Dennis J. Courtney, MD. You become confused about how best to manage your health. It's no wonder. It seems that every time you turn on the television or radio, another expert has yet another suggestion for you to follow. It seems to be reasonable enough that no matter how dutifully you follow the instructions, it just doesn't quite produce the results that you are looking for. If this confusion sounds familiar to you, give us a call at the Center for Complementary Health, where we'll make some sense of the confusion based on a blending of traditional and alternative medicine that we've been perfecting over the last seven years. We offer metabolic nutrition testing, immune system repair, natural hormone replacement therapy, chelation therapy, cutting-edge allergy correction, and a host of other safe and effective alternative therapies. Dennis J. Courtney, MD, is located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray. Phone 724-942-3000. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to AIM Impact on Your Health. Heard here in KHB 620 each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. We're here in our Monday version of the show, Christmas week, 
a uh, lot of festivities going on. Uh, but an important show today, talking about oxygen therapies from somebody, well, who just ought to know. He ought to know because he goes by the name Mr. Oxygen. He's been working in this area for a lot of years. His name is Ed McCabe. Ed, uh, our listeners now probably have something to write with. Please take the time and offer up how they can learn more about this subject of oxygen therapies through your books and through your DVDs, which are now available. Go right ahead. Take it away. Thank you for that. And I do want to point out that we didn't get into vast hundreds, hundreds of these common uh, biomes all over the world. So if we haven't mentioned something that's of interest, please do the research yourself. Look, medical reference, etc. And you can find out for yourself. Uh, these things affect positively just about anything you can say. There's always a virus associated with any so it's proof to look at. Okay. So the 800 number is the book, Flood Your Body with Oxygen. And for the set, Flood Your Body with Oxygen. The number to call is 800 247 6553. 800 247 6553. Now, as an introduction, we have a website up there. It's simply everybody loves oxygen. That'll play a word. Yeah, okay. Body. Body. But body loves oxygen. Everybody loves oxygen. .com. And you can get a, a nice intro in how all these points I, I touched on here. Then we have pretty much my main site for sending you out to all the other sites. A lot of them. But if you go to MrOxygen.com, which is M R O X Y T N dot com. Copyright trademark. M R O X Y T N dot com. And you can see a lot of the products and formulas that I develop in the product. And then you can go to my website, which is Oxygen Health, O X Y T N Health, A L T H. And we have a search engine there with over 500 medical members, including everything I said here today on the show. And there's a bunch of articles and ways to support, et cetera. And then if you're interested in the formulas I create, which I don't make myself, but uh, I have a friend that makes it in Miami, that side is Oxygen America, O-X-Y-G-E-N America, A-M-E-R-I-C-A dot com. And you can take a look at all different old ways to use oxygen, forms of oxygen, most of Etc. I do the generators, and supplements, and liquids, and oil, all kinds of ways to get oxygen to us. Now, this therapy has been around for over 100 years, so it's not experimental. It's a safe and highly effective use property. And we just love telling people about this because it's something they need to know because the only other alternative we have costs a lot of money. A lot of time. So we like to help people about this. So you can find out, uh, educate yourself, do the research, go to the website, uh, make the phone call, get the, get the book, get the DVD, and you'll be very, very happy. We're going to look at, we don't have time, all the reviews that we got for the book, uh, Austin, awesome. best thing I've ever said, uh, Mr. Behavior of Faith, and I'll blow my own crap. Just what, what you say it, thank you so much for being that's over and over and over. So it's very well received. And it's something I really advocate you do. The main place you go, MrOxygen.com, very good oxygen America. Everybody loves oxygen.com. You can go to oxygen help. And the number again is 800 247 6553. 800 247 6553. Quite a list of, I mean, multiple websites seems like uh, there is ample uh, opportunity for those listeners out there who have an interest to take it to the next step. And by the time you've gotten through those four additional websites as well as the 800 number, you should be uh, literally loaded for bear when it comes to oxygen therapies. Um, could we list out, because the ozone, the ozone is the backdrop, it appears, then, uh, from getting this uh, O3 into singlet oxygen form to do its antimicrobial will. Um, 
What are some of the other, what you'll call, active oxygen therapies uh, that allows for this release of the singlet oxygen? You mentioned some oral things to do, some oral things to take. I just heard you mention there are some products that actually you um, help produce and manufacture to do just that. Could you list out some of those so our listeners would have a, a better grasp for how to get singlet oxygen therapy? Websites, as I mentioned, was oxygenamerica.com, or actually go to mroxygen.com, do uh, a variety of stuff there, and that will lead to stuff. Uh, but one of the things every day for everybody, average oxygen and mineral supplements, we can too much of the minerals here, but uh, we're all literally starving to death, so it's bad, <laughs> because we don't have enough minerals in our food, or the agricultural soils, so you so old food is so long, the big threat for every second is to throw chemical at But what happens is the soils run out of mineral. And that's the situation we have now is we have pretty thin, uh, it's being sold in the supermarket, but they're not healthy. So we don't have a full complement of minerals we're supposed to have. So the first oxygen supplement is we're talking about oxy lift. O X Y L I F T. Oxy lift. It's, uh, it's geared to show you that you get a lift. <laughs> okay. Uh, the whole idea is healthy. I mean, you carry us all the oxygen. Wow, as I have more energy. You know, that's something I really need more energy. You've got to be more energy. It's the thing people are always chasing now with coffee, Starbucks, soda pop, all the caffeine in it, all the go fast drinks. Give me the quarter store, the federal level store. All those are trying to answer is raising the need for more energy that just runs out. Well, the reason your everybody's runs out is it's like all that pollution their entire lives. Super fuel and molecule by molecule. But still, it's piled up, piled up, piled up, piled up. And after a while, it's not just a little molecule. It's a pile of molecules. It's a whole bunch of things. It's stored in the body. The body doesn't know what to do with it. It has no inside to digest them. It doesn't know what to do with the body. The other thing the body is strong to do is mineral. So plant minerals, not rock, the actual plant minerals that are not in our food. So we came out with this supplement, not to this side, to help the body raise its oxygen level and to also give the body a full spectrum of plant minerals and this so the, the oxygen itself enables the body to feed itself out and also needs a general level. And that's what the body needs to have so that it can absorb the oxygen. Where all the space is being taken up by pollution, if you take out the pollution, if you put in the system, you encourage the body to breathe deeper, let's say. There's more room for oxygen. That's what that, that supplement is all about. Then we have another supplement called oxygen flush. Oxygen flush, what that does is it puts a little bit of oxygen in the hole. And that oxygen goes in, it finds something to fit in the anaerobic, it doesn't belong there. And it makes it impossible for it to live because the anaerobic can't live in oxygen. So, oxygen flush is the way to flush the pollution out of your colon. A lot of people swear by it. And both those products, five, six years, seven years now, will be ordered over and over and over. So, there must be a little good for somebody. And we have a lot of is that taken orally or rectally? Oral. 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 Nobody's abuse system is running correctly, in my opinion, because we don't have a full complement of minerals. So without having all the minerals we need to manufacture, all the chemicals we need to have in the body, without having source material of the minerals, you're in trouble. So we came out with oxygen earth. Oxygen earth is ancient plant mineral taken from ancient sea beds, deposits of dry lakes out of Utah. Where untouched by pollution or modern energy at all, 
is the ancient plant. They're desiccated and put in the capsule and then the That's the way it also boosts the mineral content in your body. It's got a number of other substances as well. You'll see by going to the pages on oxygen, America, you'll see as you go in there, you look at their products, you'll see how they all relate to oxygen, which will explain completely how they work. Well, you've got quite a list. Of, it appears as though then you've taken it to the next step uh, because you provided a whole source of what I'm looking at here, probably trademark uh, products you developed in, in conjunction with the, the production end of, uh, of uh, your relationship with, I forget, the gentleman you mentioned a moment ago or a while ago. So, you, yeah, you came up with a whole bunch of products that people can go ahead and take it to the next step on their own because these are products, quite honestly, I've got – been familiar with. I haven't really seen out there. You really don't have a competitor, do you? This is like a unique line of products that only you make. I've not seen them before. That's very, very interesting. Notice that. That's a fact. Uh, we call these master oxygen series. <laughs> yeah. Because, because nobody has them. Nobody has them. We have a range of oxygen products specifically to give people the oxygen minerals and enable the body to cleanse the skin, to clean out all the carbon, bring in the oxygen, bring in the minerals, and then you'd be very surprised uh, how old you are not. How uh, much younger will probably, I can't guarantee it, because everybody's different, but so many people tell me they have more energy, they look younger, and they just love it. So uh, this is really beyond all the stuff you see on the Well, now, actually, uh, as I'm now listening, there's probably a way that the listener could literally know the, how that they responded to the products that you have enabled them to take. Because I thought it was the way we started our conversation today was really neat, and now I see how it dovetails. You said that the earlier movies portrayed blood uh, that was seen on the end of the screen as bright red, and that now. Blood is no longer bright red, it's black. That's right. Do you think the human body has somehow changed DNA in 10, 20 years? <laughs> no, it's just that they're, we're so oxygen starved that I'm guessing that by utilizing the products that you have available, make available, that one could do their own experiment and go ahead, finger prick yourself now before you started them, and it, you will find that your venous blood is black. And that Venus blood doesn't have to be black. In fact, it really should be bright red, huh? Yes, cardinal red. Huh? Cardinal red. There's one supplement, important too, which is called oxy sulfa, O-X-Y-S-U-L-F-U-R. And the oxy sulfur transports sulfur in the human body. It's supposed to be in nature. It's supposed to be in our food. <clears throat> but you find that in 1954, the government basically took sulfur it wasn't doing it specifically. It was mandating artificial fertilizers, which ended up taking the sulfur out of our diet, out of our food. So nobody has had enough sulfur in their body since 1954 in the United States. <clears throat> and so what we have is a situation where the oxygen may get some, but you have no way to transport it. Well, you do transport. We're all alive. But we're talking about maximum ultimate efficiency levels of the transport of oxygen. That's what sulfur does. Sulfur crystal is matrix of sulfur in the human body 
is what transports oxygen in and out of the cells. Well, nobody's got any sulfur in their food, so we sell a supplement called oxysulfur, which is pure maritime type sulfur, and that is what allows the cell walls to be permeable. The cell walls have to be permeable, where they let the garbage out, they take the oxygen in, they take the minerals in. If you don't have enough sulfur in your body, your cell walls are leathery. So you can absorb the oxygen, not enough anyway, to be perfectly healthy, not enough to clean yourself out, and you can't absorb the minerals, which is what your cells need to work perfectly. So you find everybody breaking down, you know, and all sorts of things. They don't have to have. In my opinion, the vast majority of all the illnesses that 85% of the country is taking pills for, simply with good nutrition, there wouldn't be a reason to have those things anymore. And that's all we're talking about here is nutrition, oxygen nutrition, mineral nutrition, salt nutrition. I've, after all my years of doing this stuff, for 21, 23 years now, of lecturing all over the world, it's come down to I've, I've figured out that it's all deficient. All the major diseases are caused by deficiency in our diet, in our food, in our air, in our water. We don't have enough oxygen, not enough minerals, not enough pure oxygenated water, and not enough sulfur in our diet. And you would be amazed if you just put those things back into the body for let's see six months. Write down everything that's wrong with you. Put yourself in your body for about six months and then write down has anything changed? I think you'd be very happy to find out what's going on. It does doing. seem like the, that that would be a yeah, pathway to follow. Uh, intriguing discussion today. We've come to the end of it. Bongos are in the background signaling our time out of here. Folks, you've got a way to proceed now with the 800 numbers. And I've got them written down. I'll give them to you as we do our up-and-coming shows. Ed, thanks so much sure for visiting with us today. We'll be talking again in the near future, I'm sure. Sounds good. Bye. All right. There you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed our show today. Look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. We'll open up the phones on Wednesday, and I'll give you all these numbers again. Until then, this is Dr. Dennis Courtney with, uh, hey, Mr. Oxen saying so long for AM Impact on Your Health. Directed. Director of the Courtney Medical Group, located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray, Pennsylvania.